What's up guys, um, in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to add some custom notes to your game that your player can interact with and read and um, I think it just adds a, a little bit more fluidity to your game and adds, um, it just kind of gives it a better AAA feel in my opinion. Um, and this is going to be using the Horror FPS kit by Thunderwire Studios. So let's get right into it. Um, so this is a note I already added. Um, as you can see, you can examine it, you can rotate it. Um, there's a nice little sound when you pick it up. Um, you can even read it, so if you know it's hard to read um, on the actual note, your, your player can press E and you can actually uh, get an on-screen text of what the note says. Cool, so how do we actually make this? Um, well, it's pretty simple. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to go over to our uh, horror FPS kit here. And uh, a more simple way is just type in paper in the uh, in the search box there. And uh, paper A4 and paper bent are probably the two ones you're going to be using most often. Um, I already have one of the paper fours up here. I can you know I can change it around if I want. Um, I'm going to show you guys this one here. Uh, I, I really like this one. It's got a nice kind of a bloody effect, like a bloody smear on it um, almost. And uh, I think it's. Uh, Definitely something I'm going to be using in my game for sure. So let's just first just position it. Um, I'm just going to put it over here just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. So first thing we want to do is over in our inspector here, we want to click on the element zero material under mesh renderer. And that's going to take us over to the actual, actual material that's going to be used on this paper. And... Uh, what we want to do now is go over to the inspector again and under surface inputs let's click on base map and this is going to be the actual paper that's going to be used so we're going to go over to our uh, texture here which is a PNG image so it's actually an image format we're going to right click on it go show and explore which is going to pop it up here and we're actually going to go to uh, open with and for this tutorial, I'm going to use Photoshop. You guys can use whatever you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But um, I just find that, you know, Photoshop works best um, for editing and, and things like that. All right. So once we open this up in Photoshop, we can see that this is going to be the uh, front side of the paper. This is the back side of the paper. And um, if you want, you could, you know, keep this how it is. It's up to you. You guys can totally switch it around, change it. Um, whatever editing technique works best for you. Um, I'm not going to get super complicated into editing editing right now. Um, I'm just going to do something really simple just to show you guys kind of the basics and then you know you can always take more time with it and do it from there. Cool. So what I just did was I used my uh, marquee tool and I just copied this section of paper and I'm just going to scoot it over here that way it covers up this I did not want to do it sorry text because I want to change that. And uh, you know you could always you know, change that top one uh, as well if you want. You can change this whole paper, really. You can put whatever you want on it. Um, like I said, this is just a super basic tutorial. It's not going to look super professional just because I'm kind of doing it really quick just to show you guys. Um, but I just want to type something here. So let me go to my text tool. And that is huge. So let me bring this down a little bit. All right. Cool. So I'm just going to put some text up here. Uh, I found a really nice font called uh, Sketch It Means Sketch It. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it kind of gives that same kind of ghostly scribble effect. Tutorial note. You can put, that just looks weird, let me redo that. You can really put whatever you want here, it's totally up to you guys. Basically, your imagination is uh, the limit on this one. That's still huge. Let me bring that down. There we go. Okay. So, you just copy and paste that. Cool. All right. So, I mean, like I said, you can put whatever you want there. This is going to be the back side of our, uh, back side of our note. This is going to be the front side. And what I want to do is now export this. So we're going to go to File, Export, just Quick Export. Go to the desktop because I'll change this around later. And uh, just save that there. 
Cool, so now we want to go to our desktop, find that uh, paper texture 2, go to Unity, and just drag and drop that. Now we want to click on our actual node here, click on the uh, yeah, click on the uh, element zero under mesh renderer. Click on this material. It's going to bring up the base map. I'm just going to go ahead and lock that. And I'm going to go back and find my texture O2 that I drag and dropped and just drag this into the base map. Now, as you can see, the front didn't change because I didn't really do anything to the front. I just left it how it was. But if you notice, when we go into the game, the back's going to change. It's going to be what we put. Cool. So let's click on a note and uh, well, let me unlock that. All right. So the first thing we want to do is go to layer and change it to interact. So this is going to make us so that we can actually interact with this note. So the thing, second thing I want to do is add the interactive item script to this note. And if we turn on our gizmos, you'll see that when I off click on this, it's going to have that interactive icon over it. So that means we added that interactive item script successfully. Cool, so the item type is gonna be uh, only examined. Uh, I believe, let me see what I put on this one actually. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, okay. So it's gonna be only examined, which I had. And then we want to put examine type as paper because this is obviously a piece of paper, paper. Now our text we can put, what I find works best is if you just put kind of exactly how it shows on the paper. I think it adds a little, uh, just makes it look a little bit better. And on the back we had tutorial note, I think. Okay. Yeah, I wanna keep my caps the same just so it reflects exactly what's said on the note. Cool. Um, we don't have to put a grab sound. I think it uh, just makes it gives it a little bit more feel uh, when you have a, like a paper ruffling or riffling sound when you know when the player picks it up. Um, I like my volume around 0.3 so it's not kind of right in your face. And the last thing we need to do is with our paper selected go to component physics rigid body and we want to put is kinematic and unchecked unchecked use gravity um, because we don't want gravity to be used we want to be able to pick this up and rotate it around in the screen and lastly we need a box collider and make sure you check is trigger um, without this box collider uh, you won't be able to interact with this all right, I think that's it. Let's uh, start it up and see if it works. Cool. Yeah, so we can examine it. And there it is, tutorial note right on the back. And you almost can't see that little crease line uh, right here. Um, in Photoshop, you can see it. But uh, in the game, it's actually pretty subtle. Um, like I said, if this was for my actual game, I would, you know, try to make it look a little bit better obviously um, and let's just read it yeah so there that works too and you can see it reflects exactly what the note says um, this one over here I added a uh, little bit of a coffee stain to it I thought it made it look a little bit more grungy I might add some more to it but um, I'll show you guys how to do that really quickly as well um, so that's basically it um, that's it for that tutorial. If you guys want to stick around for another 30 seconds or so, I'll uh, I'll show you guys how to uh, you know add these little grungy effects to your note. Um, the best way I found was either going to freepick.com, which is actually a, a free software you can use. Um, not software, but website that you can use with software such as Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Um, some of these are paid assets, but like this one here was actually a free asset. Um, you guys could also go to Adobe stock which uh, you do need to pay for but they tend to have a little bit of better assets like these blood smears you can add to your notes or whatever um, I just downloaded a free coffee stain vector opened it in Adobe Illustrator um, and literally I just dragged it and dropped it to my note so you know you guys could literally just add stuff to it and uh, if I were to uh, you know 
export this as that and have a little coffee stain on there. You could, you know, find some blood smears and add those to your notes and honestly, whatever you guys want just to give it that more kind of horror style feel. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if this helps you, and I will see you in the next one.